Hi everybody, this is Katie from Kindness Confetti. Today we're going to be making this adorable pop-up unicorn card. This video today is dedicated to my little sister Chevy who turned 16 last month. Happy birthday, Chef. So if you'd like to make your own birthday card for somebody you love, stick around because we're going to be making this now. Okay, so firstly, head to kindnessconfetti.com under the freebies section to download these templates that I've pre-made for you. I've hand-drawn them and scanned them in. Um, I just thought that would make things a little bit easier for you. However, if you want, you can feel free to draw them yourself. You don't need to use mine. If you like this video and if you've watched any of my other videos and you like them, please consider subscribing um, and also give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to make sure you're notified of any of my future videos, don't forget to hit the no notification bell. Um, so following that, just cut out the designs and trace around them on a piece of watercolour paper. After you've done that, take a ruler and measure 1.5 centimeters from the bottom on both of the clouds and rule across. And when you've done that step, then we're going to start painting. So I've got some Staedtler watercolor paints here. Um, now what you want to do is create a very watery wash. That's basically a mix of the watercolor paint and water. So on the side there I've tested it out to make sure it's the right color that I want and then I'm going in and just applying the color to the edges of the clouds. It's going to give it a sort of a more natural look um, just making it very quite light. So I'm also adding a little bit in the center here um, to give the cloud a bit of a dimension. Now don't worry too much about technique or anything like that. I'm not in any way a professional watercolour painter, artist, I'm just giving this a go. Um, this is just the way I thought it would best reflect it. So if I can do it, there's no reason you can't do it either. So what I'm doing after this is I'm doing the same thing with the purple colour. So the reason why is that I just think it gives the clouds kind of sort of a magical look. So I've gone ahead and done the second cloud um, and now I'm moving on to the rainbow. So I'm starting off the rainbow with uh, a dark pink. You can start the rainbow with red if you want to but I thought that a pink was a little bit prettier for this project. But uh, if you do want to start with red, it'll be red, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue and then purple. So. Um, the wash for the rainbow is probably a little bit stronger than what you did for the clouds and what I'm doing as I go down is after I finish one color I add a little bit of just water so this helps the next color blend in so the rainbow just is a nice gradual blend um, and then at the end I as you'll see I'm gonna go back in and add a little bit more color where I feel like it needs a bit more color so again, don't worry too much if your blending doesn't sort of go to plan. Um, when I did a test run of this, I thought, oh no, this is going to look terrible. And when it dried, it actually turned out really cute um, and had that, you know, really nice watercolor look. So don't worry about stuffing it up too much. Just have fun. So here I'm going in and just adding a little bit more colour to make the rainbow a little bit more vibrant. So if your rainbow needs that too, go ahead and do the same. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to move on to the clouds of the rainbow. Now it's just the same technique that we were talking about before. However, with the rainbow, I'm not going to add the purple um, mix on. It helps the rainbow pop a little bit more um, when you eventually put the card together. Uh, so then moving on to the horse. The horse, what am I saying? The unicorn. <laughs> I've decided to do my unicorn like 
I'm imagining that it's white or, and then with like a purple outline. So I've taken a watercolour brush because it's actually my thinnest brush. If you don't have a watercolour brush, just use the, the thinnest brush you have um, for the details. Um, and I'm just going in with the purple colour and adding a little bit of shading um, and dimension. And I hope that's the right kind of shading. Uh, I think it looks effective anyway, even if I didn't get all the, you know, the lighting and things like that right. So um, just make it look pretty. And of course, you can do any colour that you want to. You don't need to do purple. Mix it up. Uh, I love to see what you create. And now I'm going to go ahead and put in some like little dots on the on the butt of the unicorn because um, I think that looks quite cute. Um, and then I'm going to fill in the hooves with the, the pink uh, and I'm going to do the same for the unicorn's mane and tail. Um, I'm just uh, going to go in with some lines here. You can colour it in completely if you want to um, or yeah, do anything you want, mix up the colours. So I'm interested to know w what you think of the difficulty of this um, DIY. So I'm going to try um, and put a poll up in the right hand corner and just ask um, what you think. So if you'd like to vote and let me know if this was too hard, if this was too easy or if this was too just right, let me know. And using some aqua deer glue, I'm going to go in and just paint the unicorn horn with it. Um, and then I'm going to tap a little bit of gold glitter on over the top um, just to try and minimize too much glitter wastage. Um, now after you do this, do make sure that you really clean your brush because you don't want to ruin your brush. Uh, and then I'm going to go in and do some again on the unicorn's butt. Um, and then after adding the glue, I'm also going to tap some glitter on as well. And then just so I don't waste the fallout, I'm going to tap that, try and tap that back into the container. Uh, or you could tap it onto a piece of paper and then pour it into the container. Now taking a, a ballpoint pen, um, go in and add in the black dots for the unicorn nose, nostrils, and for the eye. Uh, and then again, I'm just going to add a little bit of um, glitter onto the rainbow. So that's what I'm doing here now. So I'm doing it on both sides. So if you want to do that, go ahead. Again, these are kind of optional steps. Um, do it however you like. Okay, once you've let that dry, cut all the shapes out. And then take a ruler and with the clouds, with the painting side facing down, at 1.5 centimeters up, fold in the piece of paper. This is going to help the clouds stand upright when the card is opened and so they pop up. So do the same on both of them um, like I'm showing you here and then just set them aside. And then taking some more aqua deer I'm going to apply glue uh, to a piece of foam that I've cut and I'm going to stick those on the corners um, of the clouds and then I'm also going to apply some more glue to the foam and glue the rainbow and then I just want you to do the same thing with the unicorn. Now the reason I'm using foam is because it gives a little bit more dimension so it's going to make it appear as though the unicorn and the cloud aren't on the same dimension or something like that. Um, now, after you've done that, set those aside and I've got a really glittery piece of foam and I'm just going ahead and freehand drawing a, a sun in there and then cut that out and voila, there's a sun and glue it to the piece of card that you're going to use for your card. And so I've got decided to go with a light blue um, piece of card. Okay, so what I've done here is I've hot glue gunned um, the bottom of the rainbow and the cloud right up against the, the crease um, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the same with the unicorn. Now I'm sorry I couldn't show you this on camera, uh, it's just because the length of my hot glue gun cord is not very long and I couldn't film um, over there. So sorry about that. Now uh, 
what we're going to do is make some supports here uh, to help keep the the pieces in place when you open up the card and it becomes a pop-up pop card. So make two of these, uh, they measure 1.5 centimeters, 1.5 centimeters and then 1.5 centimeters and then you want to fold the edges inside. Now we're going to glue one side here to the rainbow and the other side is going to be glued to the card. So when you close the card it's going to close flat or as flat as possible. So glue one side to the rainbow and then Fold your card down so it naturally finds the place where you should glue it. And now you're going to want to do the same here with the unicorn. Glue it onto the unicorn head first, then flatten the card and glue it onto the rainbow. And now we're in the final stage. So I'm just going to cut up a few little triangles uh, and then write happy birthday on those with that same pen. And just glue them uh, across the top of the card just with some aquadeer. Um, just to make some little banners that say happy birthday and that is absolutely it if you followed all of that now you're done and this is it this is the final product let me know what you think in the comments below I think it's absolutely adorable and thanks for watching everyone